hummingbird is very unique in the sense that they have the advantages of both the birds and the insect. The birds can articulate their wing, right? They can move their wing actively because they have muscle on the wing. But hummingbird can hover and most of the birds, they have to fly forward. So basically they have the advantages of both. First of all, you, you decode hummingbird flight, find out the aerodynamic principles. How do they generate lift? How do they do controls? What kind of wing kinematic patterns that make sense for your controls of your robot? The hummingbird inspired robot. These are like 12 grams, and the lift it can generate is up to 27 grams, which is very close to the size of the hummingbird. And wind frequency is also very similar around 40 hertz. We do have smaller models, so this is less than one gram, three to four centimeters wind tip to wind tip. Uh, wind beat frequency is about 160 hertz. So of course, the smaller you get, the higher the wind beat frequency. We use all different control algorithms, reinforcement learning, AI. So we train the robot. The robot can also behave similar to the hummingbird. Control algorithm has to be robust and adaptive say if you have wind gust and external disturbances, right, or bumping into the wall, you can still deal with that. So the control algorithm itself should have some robustness built into that. We are not really shooting for like long range, higher speed, like, a, like kind of conventional aircraft or conventional bigger vehicles. So for these bio-inspired uh, devices, it's best suited for confined space, for maneuverability, turning and, you know, maneuvering some a space which is inaccessible for bigger vehicles or human. After earthquake, you want to go into a collapsed building to find people or something. Search and rescue, surveillance. Because the wings are compliant and also flexible, even if they flap at very high frequency, they don't get easily broke. And also because of the noise, hummingbird, uh, it's pretty quiet. My students are also quite uh, passionate and interested with this research. I mean, this research itself is naturally intriguing.